Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new abandoned video. Today we're coming to you from the Catskills of New York and an abandoned ski resort. As you can see behind me, we've got loads of ski boots and skis. There's slopes out here, but the best part is supposed to be inside the main building. There's going to be a pretty cool find that we're going to share with you. So if you're ready, come along with us. And also joining me today is Mike from Good Day from the K and our friend Lori. Hey. This is her first time here. Me and Mike have scouted this place before, but this is our first time exploring it. So it's going to be a quite an adventure for all of us. So throughout the video, I will share some information with you about the resort and the history of it. But for the most part, we're just going to give you a visual tour. Hmm? Here we do have an outdoor pool. Hey, this is like um, La Minette. Yeah, with the gate. With the gate to keep out the uh, little tykes. I can't see how that's safe. There's even a toy. There's even a toy in there. So you know what that means, if you don't, ask the other viewers. For those of you that are from the Catskills area, maybe the Borscht Belt, are familiar with the resorts, if you could explain what this railing is for, we've seen it at the Laminette Resort, and it basically separates the shallow end from the deep end, you can't go past that gate. It's almost like a little kiddie pool section, I don't know why they would have a gate physically in the water that could rust compared to like some floaters or something or a net. I don't understand it, but it's the second time we've seen that. So those of you that are interested in seeing Mike's video, I'll have a link down below for a good day for decay. He'll have a slideshow from today's adventure and others from the past. And as you guys can see right there, open door policy. Let's go inside. Look at the ice cream snack stand. Canteen. It's a pretty good sized room. Bloom's potato chips. Oh yeah, this is big. Well, we got a uh, domino stack of chairs over here. Got high chairs, TVs, armoires or dressers, whatever you want to call them. So it looks like upon closing, they um, moved most of the items inside of here. It's just countless piles of chairs and furniture. These little coffee tables or ottomans, desks. It's like majority of the furniture from all the rooms, so I'm guessing the rooms are probably going to be empty. Yeah, this is pretty wild.
all these lamps too have the uh, I forget the name of those light bulbs, but they're almost like fluorescent. This is like some uh, Jewish serving trays. Ooh. Popcorn. Who wants popcorn? That's a cooler over there. I wonder what that is. They stay in the Take a quick peek at it. <clears throat> There's a basketball hoop there. I don't know, maybe it's just an enclosed outdoor gymnasium. Maybe it's a multi purpose court. I see lines, maybe it was like soccer, hockey, basketball, maybe. So Lori found an ice skate, so I guess at one time or another it was an ice skating rink. But it could have been a multi-purpose court as well. But we need to head inside here now and make our way towards the area that we're looking to reach. So we'll see you on the inside. Look at the uh, accordion style closet doors. Well, this was two rooms, it's not one big one. We were on the other side, you could see the whole room. There's some more stupid vandalism. It's funny how some of these rooms are carpeted, other ones have checkered tile too. Never saw a hotel room with checkered tile floors.
So we came down another wing of rooms here, and these ones are still... Jeez. That was loud. What was that? Was that you? No. I guess it's her. I gotta try to be quiet. These rooms are still furnished. Well, the yard's gotta make sure the bathroom smells good. And this is like, uh, Dan Bell's another dirty room. Cashmere bouquet complexion soap. I do like the blue tile and towel rack. Okay, so we're currently navigating our way through. Don't know where we're going, but we headed down the steps now. Oh. Bank of payphones minus the payphones. Oh, this looks like a little gift shop. Look at that ice cream cooler. Gifts, jewelry, watches, clocks. Some kind of a sensor system up there. Front desk, huh? Yeah. Would you like to check it? Can you go on horseback ride, sir? <laughs> I look up back here, it's like safety deposit boxes. I wonder if anything has a. Uh, just say if any of them has anything inside. We got a. Pretty cool set of steps here. It looks like we're going to a banquet room, which is not our destination, but we want to check it out while we're here. Oh, look at all the uh, sinks, and paper towel dispensers. It really stinks in here. It's like a big incubator. <laughs> it's just mold and fungus growing. Covered with heated tarps. Oh yeah, those are the tarps out there. That's what they are. Yeah. Look at the uh, my light. It looks like those lights are turned on. All right, let's see where these go. Yes, found it. Guys, this is what we've been waiting for. Where do you see this? A bowling alley. Wow. Unreal. I've only seen this in videos and pictures of it. I actually do have a before and after photo. I'm gonna line myself up here. Right now I'm gonna show you the before photo. And here's how it looks today. It's probably as close as I could get to lining it up. But you can see it's changed significantly. These are there to have all the balls. Ball returns. It's actually, there's actually a ball down in there. It's a blue ball down there. Hey, you guys see down there? Somebody threw a ball down in there. We got automatic ball polisher. There's just two buffing pads. Oh, there's a bar back here.
All right, let's take a walk to the back portion and see how it looks back there. Oh yeah, this is cool. Check that out. It arranges all the pins, sets them down, sweeps them clean. The big tumblers here. There's a bunch of bowling balls right here. So needless to say, we stink at bowling, at least on this alley. The lanes are sloped, balls are all corroded, but still a pretty cool experience. Let's see the whole Maybe we should, maybe this way? Yeah, just don't go this way. So let's go check out the bar area. There's some big space down here. There might be a miniature golf down here. Fireplace. Oh, look at up here. I wonder what those are. Then, oh, it's like another bar. Oh, this looks like a, this is sloped kind of like a stage area. Like they had seating on here, like maybe a performance down here. Ooh. So we came down this little room, we didn't know what was down here, we discovered the safe. It's partially open, Mike, do you think you can pull it the rest of the way? Oh my god. What's in here? What's this thing? You're too late. <laughs> Dang it, we're always too late. Somebody beat us to it. That's a pretty solid, thick door. Well, it's actually hollow. That's solid. There's actually a mural back here too. It's wallpaper, but it's kind of neat. This must have been like a back counting room or something possibly. King David room. Hmm. Ooh, didn't know this was here. Thank you. The king and queen have arrived. Yeah, another typical Borscht Belt Resort stage area. Not as big as some of the other ones, but nonetheless, still really cool. The stage is like so, so, soaking wet. It's puddles on there. I do like the curtains though, they're very medieval looking. It's probably look really nice at night, you know, our window is open with all the lighting, all the accents. Okay, so we made it up the steps from the basement level, found a pull filter, 
filtration area. It's got to be a pool nearby. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty deep hot tub. This is a nice little bonus find for us. <laughs> the life ring's still down there. Yeah, yeah, some good graffiti here. Hey, I know those guys. Not sure if you could see from my perspective, but Mike's down here now. He's 5'10", I'm 5'11". This says it's eight feet. That's well over eight feet deep there. So, I don't know, it's probably closer to 10. It's a pretty good sized pool though, and the graffiti down here is one of the better ones we've seen as of recent. Somebody did a really good job on that. All right, so right now I'm gonna show something that some of you may not wanna see. If you don't like to look at animal carcasses, you could turn away for the moment. But I wanna show the rest of the viewers with possibly help with identifying what this is. This is laying in the pool and Lori believes it's a baby deer. I'm thinking it's something else, but maybe you guys could help identify it. There's, give you a close up look at it. All right, if you guys happen to know what that is, leave a comment down below, I'm curious to find out. Okay guys, that concludes our look and tour of this abandoned ski resort here in the Catskills of New York. We finally found what we, what we came to look for, which was the bowling alley, and now we're staying inside the pool, which was just a bonus for us. All in all, it's a pretty decayed, vandalized, graffitied up resort. Nothing really of significance that stands out from other ones, except for the bowling alley. I know years ago there were still pins there, there's still items on the wall, multiple bowling balls. It was in much better shape, but it became well known throughout the urbex community. And of course, people came here, vandalized it and destroyed it. But before it's gone, we got to document it. So I'm very happy about that. And I was glad I was able to share it with you guys. Mike, you want to share your thoughts? It wasn't horrible. Um, it wasn't too, too bad. But like Jay said, the, the pool, that was, a, that was a good find. And bowling alley, that was the best part of it. Um, that's really about it. I'll, I'll link up uh, some pictures on, on my website, Good Day for the K. Check it out. Laurie, any thoughts? Uh, same thing. Love the bowling alley and the pool. That's about it. A hey, woman, a few words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you guys have any questions or thoughts, leave them down below in the comment section. Down in the description, you'll find links to Mike's channel to my Facebook page where I do share details and photos from my adventures, as well as some unseen videos that I don't share on YouTube. Also, if you wanna get JP Videos merchandise like this or to help support my channel, you'll find links to my merchandise shop and Patreon page. With that said, I wanna thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new abandoned video. Today we're coming to you from the Catskills of New York and an abandoned ski resort that, um, not sure where I was going with that. So those of you that are interested, head over. Let's try that again. I can't talk now. So you know those tolls when you go bowling, it's all in the finesse. I'm gonna see if I can get the walk down. <laughs> oh yeah, I can feel the burn. I'm gonna pump the steel in no time.
Try this one. Oh, yeah. I just hold him out. He's training for the marathon. Are you guys going to be able to make it back up the hill? Probably not. <laughs>